Hi! In this video, we are going to take a look at how to use orchestration program to query Capital IQ API for data and upload to the quantum plate. In this particular scenario, we'll extract revenue report for a group of entities between a set time period and put it in the dataset inside quantum plate. The set dataset then could be used in rich automated workflows for operational like abnormal values. Since code-wise the integration with the Capital AQ API is a little involved, we will use open source Quantum Plate AP integration helper. But first, let's go to the Quantum Plate app and create a new dataset. The next step is to share it with the whole org with the edit permission and name it from the convenience. Having a shared dataset, we can now use public APIs offered by the quantum plate in our own integrations. One of such integrations is already available for us at uh, github.com slash quantum plate slash AP integrations. It hosts uh, Capital IQ integration, which are which we are going to use in the next step. The program, based on the provided parameters, makes necessary calls to the Capital IQ API, transfers the data, and then uploads it to the quantum plate. So to download the program, let's scroll up, go to releases section, go to the latest release, and download the char. I've already done that before, so my jar is ready, so I can access it from the code. The next step is to provide a set of invariant variables, which will be used as a configuration for our program. In here, as you can see, we need to provide our credentials for the Capital IQ API license. The next few options are constants, and the last two are provided by us uh, to you after creating an API client user uh, for your use case. Having the environment variable set up, we can now specify properties which will be used by our uh, program to generate the report. As you can see here, we are invoking the generator of a new report, which will use the specified parameters. Uh, the org ID and data site ID will be extracted from the URL within Quantum Plate. We are specifying currency as USD, a time frame, and identifiers. The identifiers could be inline, as in here, could be loaded from the local text file or from the remote quantum play dataset. For the sake of simplicity, in here we will use inline per uh, identifiers. So to extract org ID and dataset ID, let's go to the quantum plate and take a look at the URL. As you can see in the URL, the first thing is uh, organization ID so we can paste it directly. The next part after the dataset is a dataset ID. And that's it. With all that, our configuration is ready and we can start the script. To run the script, let's open a new terminal session and export our environment variables. On the Linux and Mac OS, this could be done by a simple script. And that should be it. Uh, take a look that in here I have used different uh, file uh, that includes my own credentials. The next step is to actually run the script. So let's point to our jar, type apply, and point to our config file. I 
After a few seconds, the script should be finished working, and as you can see, it's ready. So get back to the Contemplate app and refresh the page. After the refresh, you should be able to see the data generated by the script. This will include company name, capital identifier, and uh, total revenue from 88 to 2018. You can learn more about the Quantumplate API offering at quantumplate.readme.io, where we are hosting an API reference and a bunch of examples. That will be it for this demo. Take care.